Okay. I'm attacking with Dishonor. It has combo, and I control, surging, whelming, and bonds. It's coming in for four. Our breaking scales up, that son of a bitch. Oh, you bet your sweet ass they are. I'm going to block with Furnace. I'm going to block with Down and Dirty from Arsenal. It's totally worth it putting that card in there. <laughs> Such value. Take that. And then I'm going to Buzzsaw Trap. It's only, it's only two now. If you're attacking for two. Good night. You dishonored yourself. <laughs> well, I dishonored Isaac, but not Colin. Also, hopefully you are in these zones in relationship to me. <laughs> Welcome to the reaction step. Our fun YouTube show that's also on our podcast feed. Isn't that great? It is great. It is a fun YouTube show. This is the show where we 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 plan less and talk more. Yeah. Somehow. Do more with less. That's right. And what are we doing <laughs> today? Oh. Work harder. <laughs> work smarter, not harder. I don't want to work. Let's, let's not talk about work. <laughs> All right. The topic today, as you so conveniently prompted me and then I ignored, is we are going to talk about each of our five favorite pieces of art from the last Flesh and Blood set, Outsiders, with a twist. Ooh. Thank you. When do you guys want to explain the twist? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the twist is we're going to draft it. Ooh. Outsiders is a draftable set. We're drafting it. So I got my big board of art ready to go. I'm going to take you down. Listeners, this is important. After you listen to this episode, either in the Discord, on Twitter, or in the YouTube comments, potentially the most convenient. Who knows? However you choose to read this. Listen to this. Watch this. <laughs> You're going to let us know at the end who won the draft. Read so via Colin transcript. Freaking, yeah. <laughs> if Colin freaking does a great job and gets all the best art pieces in this draft, which he freaking will. houses me and Isaac, <laughs> let us know who you think won. Okay? I feel confident in my skills and my picks and my big board. And uh, this is going to be great. great. Well, We're just also doing it. What kind of style here, Colin? We're doing it snake style. <laughs> That's right, snake style. Because snake, snake style, snake, <laughs> snaking. We're gonna snake the card. So you know, you guys yeah. think because you're big, tall, sporty guys that you can draft on me like this, but I'm coming in hot. But first, we got to figure out what order we're going in because we didn't do that yet. You guys are doomed. I anticipated what your favorite art is first, so I'm just going to pick that first instead. I mean, but I is that you. the right strategy? Because will the listeners think that those were their mm. best ones? Or do you just got to trust your gut and know that even though everyone thinks this is a you know third round pick, you pick it first because you want it. That's yeah, like a, totally. That's like are you taking fifth round picks things. in the first round? Dude, yeah. I believe in the cohesion. That'd be of my team of card arts. Okay. Excellent. I'll go first. I <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He did it. I was going to say maybe Isaac could go first since, you know, he, he recently graduated from his program and we're really proud of him. So, you know, that's thank that you. Like a this nice is my gift. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get you anything. Yeah, this is all you get. Cause you didn't yeah. tell me you were graduating last week. So, uh, <laughs> That's uh, this is what you get. I hope you hope you enjoy it. So then it's uh, uh, oh, don't also if, if you Isaac. don't know what snake style is, it's you know yeah. Isaac will pick and then you Taylor to, or me will you're pick. Unfamiliar. And then whoever picks third will pick a fourth one immediately after that, and it'll it'll snake back up to to Isaac until we're done. We've all got five outsider arts. Uh. Before we decide who goes, well, Colin, you're the one who edits this. So where am I in, and you in relation to Isaac's floating head when this, this is video a high production? 
high production content. <laughs> Uh, I'm in the bottom left. You're above me. And Isaac is to our right over the logo. Okay. <laughs> As usual. I nice. will. I'll go second. Oh, huh. great. Fine. I'm just. I don't know. I'll do it. I'll, I'll be I'll be the snake. It's good. You get two picks Sweet. in a row. You get uh, the most synergistic picks. Boom, boom. Yeah, dude. It's going to be a combo. Yeah. You won't even see you it know, coming. I wait a long time before my second pick. They're not going to synergize at all. They're going to be, yeah, you're just going to have two. You're just going to have a defensive stopper and a big guy who's dude. good at passing, but you got no scoring and no passing. Dude, big well, guys. Big guy. Needs He's only good team. at rebounding. You know? <laughs> but, it's going to be tough. Boy, I, I did want to ask Rodman. Hey, that's a Hall of Famer. Pretty good. I wanted to ask you guys this before we get into it. How does this set's art stack up to the previous nine sets of Flesh and Blood? Oh, and take it away. (laughs) I think we should draft (laughs) the best set art first, and then why is this question? No. Um, I don't know. That's a really good question. Um, and you just totally sprung it on us with very little, you know, warning. So I think, you know, it it was interesting. I, I thought going into this, you know, preparing for this, that I was like, oh yeah, there's so much like really, really cool art. I'm so excited. You know, I remember when spoiler season was out, I was like, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. And then I was going back through it and I was like, Well, some of this I don't like that much, to be honest, um, and I'm not as excited about. So I'd say it's like it's like above average. It's like, you know, it's mid. If we're going to like tier this out, I guess it's like tier 2.5. But I think in your top three picks. Good. The silence is really good nice. for the audio listeners. Just... We're in. We've entered. Dun, 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 ponder with Colin. Look, I'm gonna say a definite maybe in top three. <laughs> Here, well, here's okay. the thing. You, 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 you cut me off mid thought because I had a really good thought, and then you were like, "Here's another question." On top of the question, I'm already making you answer. Damn it! And the the thought I had so I'm was a great that teacher. there are some some of the art in this set is like top tier. It's just mm-hmm. super dope. Uh, right. So <clears throat> it's hard to say. Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty good. I feel like I don't know. Like Tales of Aria, always just I just remember like having looking at all that uh, elemental art is really cool. Um, and then I, I don't know, even thinking back to like Arcane Rising, like there's such like cool stuff in Arcane Rising that I still love looking at. So, uh, it's, it's hard to say. I feel like thematically the set's really strong because of the pits. Uh, there's a yeah. couple of those weird outliers like Amplifying Arrow that just came from another set. But, uh, I think uh, overall the the mood and theme of it, and uh, even like looking at some of the framing of the art, it looks very com- like comic booky, where it kind of it has mm-hmm. some like very strong visual storytelling elements um, that I like. And actually, you know, kind of prepping for you guys to steal all my top picks, I have like a long list of uh, alternates, and some of these I was just like, you know, what? this is really cool. It's like a sim- you know some of the art's simpler, but like if you look at the details, it's um, really cool. Uh, storytelling going on there as well. So there's my hmm. non-answer to your question. It is a okay. <laughs> okay, first yeah. loss of the night to Colin Isaac. This this set is not in my top three um, for art nice. preference. Not because of like art quality, but just for my personal preference. And like Colin said, it was it was pretty easy for me to choose like my top 10 favorite cards. And I think the art is just phenomenal on those. And then there's an additional bunch of cards that I like, or the art is, yeah, just really on point and representative of the theme of the set. 
but just because the this set's theme is maybe not quite my favorite and you know i i just scrolling through the um the different art it just i think yeah i guess maybe it's mostly that the theme is not my first pick um again nothing against the art quality or anything but uh, aside from some standouts i think i would rate the set lower mm -hmm. interesting what did you think uh, I tend to agree with both of you. It for sure hits it out of the park in terms of uh, its cohesiveness as a set, but falls short in the sparking of like imagination that some other sets have done. Mm. You know, like, whoa, what is going on here? I want to know more about this. Like uh, <clears throat> one card in particular uh, is gore belching. Like that card is is like when you look at that blown up and you look at the scene and you see the secret uh, viscera potentially in the background as part of this like gigantic battle. Mm. That is like what's going on here. Like let's freaking let's talk about this, you know. Uh, where, and I feel like other sets have had that a lot, you know, like yeah. it's a dramatic scene happening, but we just don't have that in this set. And I think part of it is just like, we have a bunch of people on cards in like an action pose. Many of them are actually in a death pose, <laughs> 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 but there isn't much more of a story going on so much in some of these yeah so i think that that's yeah. a really good point it some of them don't grow the overall story or set like some cards like all you like i think infecting shot is actually really cool it's this like um mm -hmm. you know infectious arrow like inside an artery or a vein mm -hmm. and uh yeah to me, the art on that card is like really cool for what the arrow is, but then just a lot of the set is just that kind of confined to, you know, that particular card or like you both of you said doesn't, it doesn't tell a story. And right. certainly not every card has to do that, but having some cards in the set do that, um, you know, adds value or adds adventure to your, your playing. Yeah. 100%. So, yeah. Well said. I would rank it. I would rank it low <clears throat> overall. Art art style. Anyway, all right. Well, I guess we're done. <laughs> we're done. Thanks for listening <laughs> and watching. Good thing uh, we weighed in. <laughs> like, yeah. let's draft the art on this set that the art's not good in. <laughs> well, there's some real bangers, and we'll get into that. That's right. With there the first are. pick in the Outsiders art draft, Isaac. Oh yeah goes to me dude mm -hmm. all right Got so my first pick i'm gonna grab my favorite one so you guys don't get it mask of many faces nice this is uh oh. carlos cruchaga special yep maybe my the favorite goat. artist in the set and uh the kind of mystique of this card and like we were talking about the this card does tell a story right you wonder totally who this character is what they do, what their abilities are, what their story is, what they're, you know, what they're doing in this moment, um, what their role is. It's just like, it's so evocative of, you know, everything. Like I, yeah. I want to know so much and I, I want to, I want to know this person's story and they're just, you know, everything. So you I love what, it. You know what Very it reminds mysterious. me of? Uh, there's a ski patrol movie where there's a crazy guy who snowboards who has two masks on his side of his head and he like talks to himself by like <laughs> <laughs> it probably that that hundred percent that has not aged well, but you know, I just thought of that looking at this right now. But yeah, I, I think this is a great one. The masks in general in this set are really cool. Um, yeah. but this one is just the atmosphere of it, uh 
like you know they kind of like smoke drifting off his eyes mm-hmm. and like it's like he's got like an incense burner kind of thing on the top of his head um mm-hmm. and he's also and then like, he's shushing you he's shushing you yeah, yeah. love it great, don't shush me great pick that's a that's a strong pick Thank good you. pick got it i think maybe not the best you could have done for your pick one the Ooh. the top pick in the draft but pretty good <laughs> Taylor's about to the, dick me over right now. <laughs> the people know. The people know. So uh, with my first pick in the draft here, in the first round, second pick, uh, I'm not going to go with my top card because Ooh. I think I can get that that value later in the draft. Ooh. But I am going to go with a real banger here. So which maybe be a little underrated. We'll see. So my pick is van brace of determination wow mm. didn't now, i didn't see that coming me neither. oh my god well, that's because you guys do not have palette that i do your <laughs> eyeballs are crusty because when you freaking look at this card the van braces are freaking dope you know and it's like some it also has a story situation going on because there's some sort of like battle going on that these van braces are a part of. And I feel like it fits in with the, because it's a generic piece of equipment. It fits in with the mystique of like the Arcanite skull cap and mm. Talishar and stuff. Like these are some legendary freaking van braces that this dude who's going into battle has a ton of determination. And they just look, I love how they stick out on the piece of, on the card too like there's a scene going on but the artist has done this really cool subtle way of making them look Mm. not only like a part of his outfit with like the fur uh cloak he's wearing but how they're like the leathers maybe metallic and inlaid with this gold it's just they're freaking sweet fan braces of determination nice yeah yeah, I, I do like that. It is kind of like a, a focal length sort of field, depth of field situation mm-hmm. where the the equipment itself is very clear. And then as you kind of just move a few inches up this dude's arm, it starts getting a little fuzzier. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, very cool. I, uh, I it wasn't even on my list, so... You know, you, Foolish. You, you, you ran for it, you grabbed it, and I am... I, sighing in relief because my number one (laughs) pick is mine we did it everybody it's the it's the treasure chest it's the sunken uh what is it actually called i just call it the treasure chest (laughs) trench of sunken treasure or something trench of sunken treasure the chest piece uh this one i mean obviously i knew you were gonna pick that i mean i knew it I figured you would, and you would have just gone for it because it's it's the coolest one. The extended art is probably one of the best looking cards in the entire set. Uh, it's got a pirate. He's got a big beard. He's got a harpoon gun. Uh, it's raining. He's on a ship. Like I'm, I'm really curious about these pirates in the pits. It's like the pits seem crazy. There apparently there's like enough water down there for riptide to fish and all sorts of you know boat action. I'm curious where those boats lead to or if it's just under there and they're just like, you know, there's like a big underground lake that they just, you know, Mm. pirate on. But good questions. Good questions. Who knows? But yeah, that's uh, that's my number one. I got it. I did it. I think I've already feel like I've won. So nothing else matters at this point. (laughs) Um, But yeah, Yeah, well, you get another detail here. The detail in that artwork is really, really good. I also like that he has a harpoon gun instead of just like a classic scimitar or something, you know? It's uh Dude, it looks like net, Jason a harpoon Momoa, gun. like <laughs> Yeah. It's like very yeah, gr- this... grungy, grimy, you know. He's definitely a Pitts pirate. This is so this is my pushback on this card. Is wow. pirates overplayed, overdone. Jason Momoa, overdone. He's in too many movies. Pirates We've done it. Culturally, we've done it. So that's why I didn't steal it from you. Wow. Way to yeah. way to just mm. like sandbag mm. my pick there. 
I'm trying to win. Okay. <laughs> There's a people's choice award at the end of this. They're going to the leave comments. They're booing. There's like I'm trying to win three <laughs> pirates win. in this whole game. So, you know, in the world of flesh yeah. and blood and wraith, pirates are not played out. They're a whole new thing we haven't even messed with. And when this dude becomes playable, we're going to shoot everyone with our harpoon gun. Um, to <laughs> wait, uh, no, no, we're not. Um, anyways, that's fair. You know, you you can have your opinion, even if it's bad, wrong, you know, misinformed. Uh, totally, you know, all those things are your choices. So I... just turn that camera around <laughs> at yourself as you say that. Uh, I will. I'll, I'll I'll look at myself and feel really really stoked because. I'm happy about that pick. All right, so now we're going to snake it back, and I get a my second-round pick right away. Um, mm-hmm. This one I'm feeling less sure about, I'll be honest, right away. Uh, but I think, I mean, I need it. I needed, like, a strong back-to-back. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. I had to go third, so we're going to do code, a Codex. Mm. It's a Marvel... Because we nice. decided those were included, and I'm making a game time decision. It's blood rot. We're doing Ooh, Codex of blood rot. Blood rot. Okay. Uh, I think frailty is real close. I think it. They both. I mean, all the Marvels just have this classic, like, you know, Leonardo da Vinci's sketchbook. You know, nat- old school naturalist vibe. Uh, where they're like, oh, yes, let me draw this picture of a flower and, like, you know, the inside of a person's body all on one page for some reason. Um, But the... And all of these, I think all of them are done by Carlos Cruchaga, just number one in our hearts, I think. Uh, We should get... We should do an interview with him or something. He's the coolest. (laughs) Um, Let's put that on. Let's write that down. I like that idea. I'll write that down. I'm a producer. (laughs) Um, but yeah, I think <laughs> write that down, Colin. Yeah, I'm writing it down in my brain. Uh, Codex of Blood Rot. I picked it. I like the kind of arcane symbology going on. There's like this weird cup at the bottom, just kind of like it's like a little disturbing, but not too disturbing. I don't know. It it ticks some boxes for me, and I'm into it. So there we go. Codex Fair of enough. Blood yeah. Rot Marvel. Okay. I really like the the marvels in this set because, I mean, the the art style appeals to me, and I think that um, he did a good job. I don't know incorporating the artwork and the you know the, I don't know what you call it, like parchment paper old school scientific style, mm-hmm. um, while still having some, uh, you know, something car- conveyed by the art itself, and. I just really like, I like the way that LSS went with this, or maybe Carlos presented it. Um, rather than having a like over the top, really flashy, like foil extended art, which is also cool um, card. It's like having a completely different piece of artwork on a card and a different theme, I think is, you know, they don't have to go that way every time, but. I really like that, um, that they have something separate in a different flavor and special rather than just, uh, you know, I mean, the dragons were cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, mm. the other ways they've gone have been cool, but I do like that, you know, j- rather than just like a full extended art, um, you know, painting of the book, there's a, a whole different flavor to these. Yeah, totally. I agree. That's a strong pick. That's a great pick, Colin. And that's a lot of value. I forgot about the Marvels, even though we talked about it previous. So great value as the fourth pick in the second round. I like it. Great work. All right. Back up to you. Okay. Back over to me. <clears throat> so my pick, the fifth pick uh, in this draft, it's tough. I got a lot of stuff still on the board. There's a lot of great pieces. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to go with Scale Peeler. Ooh. The, I think one of mm. maybe the best looking dagger. Uh, certainly the most unique uh, cool one that we have. Uh, it's like maybe made out of bone, mini bones. Has two little like finger hook spots that you can, so you don't lose your grip. You could also twirl it. 
if that was your style. <laughs> uh, and it looks super like dope a six shooter. Well. Yeah, totally. You know, so I, you know, and and the fact that like basically the only cold foils are the daggers um, and scale peeler, I think, looks the dopest uh, in cold foil. So, yeah, that's my pick. Fifth pick, scale peeler, baby. Nice. nice. It does look like a, a vertebrae or something like it's like a spine. Yeah. You know, shape it. It. Yeah, and that combined with the name, like peeling scales, I don't mm-hmm. know, just something, it just does it for me, you know? And I think the listeners will agree with me too. That's it's just great value this late in the draft. Um, I'm glad you presume to know what they like, but that's fine. <laughs> this is a great episode to put on because we, we all have very different, um, maybe not very different, but we all have different artistic um, opinions, you know? I think we we present a good dichotomy here, trichotomy, nice, if you will. All right, I all think. right, back um, to me, back to you. Pick six. I'm gonna pick Wayfinder's Crest. Ooh, mm. oh, I got one of Collins. Yep, probably took one <laughs> off Collins' board for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I this is I really appreciate it because it's quite a lot different. It's kind of weird in this set to be honest, but they have not really explored this. Um, you know, uh, Native American Western kind of styled artwork before, and I really like it represented in the set. Um, I like the theme, I like the style, and it's just so cool to see in the game. And I just love like, yeah, I don't like anything like like Western flavor. You mm-hmm. know, Western novels or movies or you know whatever. Um, that kind of backdrop is really appealing to me in uh you know in a lot of different platforms so this ticks like all the boxes for me um and it's just a beautiful piece of artwork so yeah i uh i had this i had this at number two i swapped it with a marvel i don't know if i regret it but uh great choice i think the colors of it the you know as you say kind of this the southwest you know american landscape uh vibes yeah, are maybe all... mesoamerican mm-hmm. yeah yeah you know it give me like bryce canyon or uh uh oh god what's that other place i can't remember right now but yeah just those, lands those desert vibes um that are really cool and just you know everything that this woman's got going on is is super cool like her just the mm-hmm. dopest comfiest looking hoodie uh, <laughs> just a, a wonderful robe yeah just really speaking to you dude she she looks comfortable it might be cold outside but she's she's feeling warm um yeah lo- love this one i b- before we even started the show i i, I put one uh, a cold foil in my card on tcg player because i was like i really want this in cold foil <laughs> nice. i have one Ooh. Apparently they're worth a dollar thirty seven. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also really it's like the the like clouds coming over the plateau and the bird activity and just kind yeah, of the, the way she's mm-hmm. sitting forward a bit and the expression on her face um also conveys like it's that same storytelling thing. Like I wonder about her and what you know what is building in this scene. It's not just kind of a serene sitting landscape it's you know there's something happening here and she's Mm -hmm. like her mind is buzzing and i wonder why there's three falcons good love it of the west of the west baby (laughs) you know me i love a bird of prey love a bird (laughs) of prey so much okay Um, to me no to isaac again oh yeah snaking back down oh yeah snake style to isaac (laughs) Ooh, nice. All right, those two. I get three more. Shit, that's hard to choose. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I'm going to pick Plague Hive. Ooh. Oh, interesting. This was not on my radar at all. But the more I looked at this artwork, the more I was just drawn into it. Like, if you just gaze into into this painting it's like is 
is that a person? Is it a skull? Is it like a, a nebula? Is it a, you know, it's some sort of cosmic it being? Says it on the card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's kind of dripping toxic gases. It has these black tendrils um, kind of swirling out of it. Uh, this skeletal mask is kind of like a, a crown. Mm -hmm. Like they're wearing it with royalty maybe or... I don't know. It could be a trap or if, I don't know. It like I brought up all of those thoughts and um, I just thought it was really interesting that it didn't really appeal to me or I wasn't really that interested. And the more that I just like um, stared at it and thought about it, I was just, I don't know. It has a lot of components and a lot of kind of maybe subtle components that uh, really got me wondering. So I, I appreciated that that about it i love uh i love all your reasons there i think it does have that weird thing where you can kind of keep looking at it and it's 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 like that meme picture where it's like can you name one thing in this photo and it's like it looks <laughs> like it could be something but you can't actually tell what any of it is and i think the longer you look at it it's like the different bits kind of evoke different ideas and you know mm -hmm. it is very <clears throat> nebulous uh but you know there's there's something there you know you're looking into the void and it's i guess it's looking back sometimes when you look at it oh, it's, <laughs> it's hard to look away yeah after a while that's a good choice nice strong that's pretty good value getting the fable at the third round uh <laughs> well calling Colin out the codex so i you know, i was like uh, there's two other yeah. codices you know it's they're there uh, yeah, totally. But now, because <laughs> you've picked it, it feels redactive mm. to then also pick one, you know? Like, I'm just trying to game the system, you know? So, okay, yeah. it goes to me with the eighth pick in the draft. Uh, the pressure's on. You guys started off weak, but then you guys are doing really good now, and I'm pretty worried. What was the double hands? Are you I'm choking playing me? defense. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of things I have on here, but okay. I think I'm going with the in the third round, eighth pick. We're going mask of malicious yeah. manifestations. Oh, cool. Totally. So Great just. Name. Yeah, wins off the name, best named card in the set for sure. Uh, and it's just freaking, it's dope. What happened? Was somebody, is somebody dead who was wearing this mask? Did they kill somebody while they were wearing this mask? There's a knife in the background on a ripped piece of cloth. You know, like probably Arachne. This is part of his collection. Just got home from a day of work, put, taking his hat off, cracking a beer. You know, who knows? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is I'm just his after work, work all day. Yeah, his after yeah, work, totally. work. So, <laughs> yeah. So I, I just think it's, you know, it's a, it's a dope card. It's a cool mask. Uh, I do love that. There's, we have that picture of Arachne in their lair, mm -hmm. and there's all these masks on the wall or whatever, and now we're starting to see those, right? Um, and part of it too that it's a assassin slash ranger card maybe means like part of the the mask when when they wear it they are you know passing as a ranger I don't know something like that infiltrating rangerness who knows you know what I'm saying so it's sick so that's what I'm going with mask of malicious manifestations. I like that it almost looks like the mask is injured. Like the red bit looks like it's been like, like the some white part has been ripped off to reveal this like red bit on the top of the jaw. I mean, it's also bloody, you know, which is gross. Mm -hmm. Cause why is it so bloody? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, exactly. What happened? I like that. It's been, I mean, it's been painted red in a number of its components. Like obviously it's supposed to be, 
for drawing blood, mm-hmm. you know, um, and his blood splattered in of itself. It just like, yeah, I guess just like you said, it, you just wonder, you know, you just wonder. I like the headcanon that this is just Arachne's like end table and he's just like slapping his mask mm-hmm. down, putting his dagger in. Mm-hmm. He's just like, I'm putting on my, yeah. my comfy pants and I'm going to watch yeah. my stories. Yeah, got their slippers <laughs> on. Yep. Totally. Totally. Open up blood rot codex, you know? <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. This is great. All right. Well, strong pick. Uh, not Thank on my list. Thank you. So, you know, you don't have to mm-hmm. feel too good about it. Um, other than <laughs> your normal. I feel good. That's pretty good value. Your, your normal superiority feelings. Uh, but so, okay. So what pick is this? This is pick nine. Pick nine. nine. Yeah. Uh, my third pick. This one is pretty easy for me. My other favorite artist in all of Flesh and Blood uh, outside of Eleanor, because you know she's just still got those three pieces. We need to get her back in the game. But we're going with Amnesia by uh, Reer- Reardon Del Miro. I think is it cool. Um, this I just, is a strong pick. I love I love this person, this artist's style. They always do something kind of weird and out there. And I think this one, I, there's two things that I really like about this. One, it kind of looks just like a regular dude from our world. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. and it's like, 100%. you know, it's like the, the ability of this card is like breaking the fourth wall, um, <laughs> in, in some kind of way. Uh, it also reminds me of that dude from those old, like cassette commercials where like he's sitting in the chair and then like the sound system blows his like scarf back. Um, anybody born after the nineties <laughs> has no idea what I'm talking about, but that's, that's fine. But yeah, I just like, it's very simple. It's this dark, it's got these pink, you know, fantasy elements, um, you know, and then there's this, this weird thing where he's just strapped to the chair. It's kind of like a weird dentist chair that his arms are strapped in. Um, and we have real no context for what else is going on here other than like his like fantasy uh, identity is being just like ripped away from him, which is crazy looking. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah it, it portraying these components of his mind like floating away or being pulled away seemingly kind of effortlessly, right? Like he is just subdued, you know, um, is kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> madness is scary to me. So having your mind just like <laughs> that's um, ripped apart is... Uh, you know, it's a powerful piece of art to convey all that. It's totally fair. Um, Not bad. All right. Ooh. All right. This one's hard because, like, I have a list, but I'm now looking at it and I'm second guessing everything, every decision that led me <laughs> up to this point. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna vamp while I decide which one it actually is that I'm gonna pick here, uh, because this is my second. To, okay, it's my second to last pick. So. I still got another chance to to figure out my, my whole my whole deal here. Um, <laughs> but all right, here we go. I'm actually oh, wow. I'm like skipping over some stuff. I'm I'm just going off a of vibe. I'm going down to a later <laughs> round pick for me. But mm, interesting. Uh, we're nice. staying we're staying in the generic zone, and we're going with give and take. Okay. Ooh. I kind of just like these three like children looking people beating up this dude with a mohawk. Uh it's very like, you know, in media res, like it just started here. He's getting his chain stolen. And uh yeah, it's just kind of it's got a cool vibe. Like, what's his deal? Like he's this like big poofy jacket guy with no shirt. Uh, and some cool like shin guards and then there's just these like this one this kid on the right i mean maybe they're not kids but the one on the right looks like he's wearing like a school uniform so i'm just like (laughs) in in the way i'm looking at this uh and they also look kind of small so i'm gonna say yeah they're children and i just imagine their normal form is three children in a trench coat and then they're just whooping this guy's (laughs) ass (laughs) 
<laughs> that was that was a bit of a yeah. I don't know. I wasn't planning on that one, but I I went with it. So we'll pretty see good. How, we'll see nice. how that sits. Federico Musetti. Yeah, you know, one of the greats in this game. Uh, not bad. I thought of putting it on my list, but and then you thought better. Then I of decided. It. <laughs> <laughs> I get uh, it. Then I I. I wanted to be different, I guess, mm. in some of my picks. So I, I I left it off my big board, you know. But still, it's a good, strong pick. Getting it in the fourth round. Not bad. We'll see how that sits. I might regret it. It's pretty I cool. I know, though. totally. I have, I, I I have love one in my, play. <laughs> in my top five that I'm like, it's just not strong enough. Yeah, that, know, that's, to, that's to win me this draft. That's where I'm at. I'm like, is this a good pick? I don't know if this pick is good anymore. <laughs> totally, I know it's a, that's how it's got to go, though. You know, like some stuff is taken and fallen, and and you got to pivot. Yeah, you know. Okay, so back to me with the eleventh pick in the fourth round here. Whew. Uh I I hope this one. I'm trying to catch you off guard. But at the same time, hit a banger. So we're going with Lace with Blood Rot as my pick. Freaking dopest Lace card. Like, to get your Blood Rot, you have to have an infected body hanging by meat hooks <laughs> in your cellar. And you just, you just dip your arrows in their gunk. And that's how you're doing it. All of on the, all on the way out the door. Yeah, yeah totally. Like, yeah, probably gonna need some blood rot today. Like, just kind of. Uh, Thanks, swipe Jerry. Across this. <laughs> yeah, totally. Hang in there, bud. You know, because <laughs> all of my my last Got couple him. of picks are are work related, apparently. <laughs> uh, but the red is just super, super vibrant and disgusting. Mm -hmm. You know. Like, mm -hmm. of course, I do not want to get hit with this arrow full block. You know what I mean? And of course, uh, it's oozing that much. Yeah, totally. It's just dripping off of him. So you just have to hold it under. Like, you don't even have to, like, stab him. It's just, <laughs> it's just oozing. So, yeah, that's my pick. Lace with blood rot. Nice. I, I like I, it. I didn't pick this one. I looked at this and considered it, but it was too visceral and too gross. And I was like, I didn't. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had a couple of cards that I, I wanted to pick for like theme or scariness kind of, you know what I mean? Um, like, well, uh, <laughs> spreading plague is a really good one. Oh yeah. That one's so That's nice. my honorary mention is like a hand holding a heart out of this. Whoa, anyway. dude, what if that was my pick? Come on now. <laughs> oh, sorry. Boy, you're getting really gory with him then. <laughs> Quick, no. Isaac, pick it so he can't have it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to pick it. Hate draft. Hate draft. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My pick is uh, Quiver of Rustling Leaves. Mm -hmm. I, I almost picked this earlier to steal it from you, but I decided <laughs> not to. This is just yeah, a beautiful. Went with pick. a weak pick with freaking scale peeler. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> this is it's just a, a pick. Scale it's peeler a beautiful. Is good. It's a beautiful painting. Um, it kind of reminds me of where we live a bit. Uh, the the lighting is really well done in it, and it's it's kind of just like evocative of that feeling. You know, when you're you're in a role playing adventure, like in a book or a game or a a video game or whatever you know and you get the you get the majestic quiver and it like floats and it's like ah oh. um it has that kind of nostalgic component to it and um yeah they mark Poole just did a really good job with the i don't know the the i want to say the depth of the landscape mm -hmm. um or the detail in the landscape i guess um yeah, and I'm biased towards Ranger, but he certainly did not phone it in for this set as he did in Tales of Aria, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is a very dumb. <laughs> very well done. Sorry. Sorry for the shade, Mark Poole. Sorry. <laughs> Thought we were gonna lose another listener. 
<laughs> what did they say about my boy Mark? <laughs> nah, it's a great pick. I think of the art on the quivers, I think it's the most just kind of like evocative and beautiful. You know, it's uh it's got that pastoral vibes. It's very kind of limited the color palette. You know, it's that autumn kind of feeling, but not too late in autumn where everything turns brown and dead. It's like just slightly dying in gold. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Death is beautiful. Nice. Good choice. <laughs> All right. Says the uh, assassin player. <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> Here it is. It's your final pick. This Last is fuck, pick, dude. I can't choose between these two. Oh, I know the feeling. Son I could, of a bitch. I could keep Who talking set these while rules? you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who made these rules? I think we don't did. Con- <laughs> don't pick constrain me. <laughs> don't blame the snake. It's the snake's fault. All right. All right. I, I picked. God, I can't believe I'm leaving this out. But <laughs> I'm going to pick a Fletch with a tail. These three cards. Um, mm. Three cards, bit of a cheat, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm cheating, you know. But because for a number of reasons, I this is another way I love that they went with the art direction. That was a weird way to say that. But, um, you know, making this choice to have the different um, uh, whatever iterations or versions of the card yeah. do something different and affect um, that pitch value is like really cool. And just in terms of like card design and the fact that it's reflected in the art is really, really cool. Like they didn't have to do that, but they went the extra mile and made that happen. And the the artwork itself is really good. Um, the, I don't know, the focus on the tails really brings them to the forefront. Mm-hmm. They look they look beautiful, powerful, kind of magical. And finally, I just like the idea of, you know, they're, this person is fletching their different arrows with these like magical feathers or, you know, fletching them and then imbuing them or whatever for these different purposes. Um, you know, maybe it's your opponent's really late game blue pitch stack and your blue fletch made it back there to combat that. Or maybe you're attacking their red cards or, you know, whatever. Um, just so much went into the, or to me, so much, you know, kind of novel um, design went into this set of cards that I really, really like. So I got I to gotta pick it. Pretty good. I like the blue tail one is my favorite out of those. Nice. That one looks cool. Yeah, kind of peacock-esque. Yeah, the coolest. And then the yellow, I think, is really is it's hard, it's hard to choose. You know what? The that red's good crazy. too. <laughs> now, now you're just. I like the now green you're one. Upset. I was talking shit. And now you're just. <laughs> it's funny though. Uh, I think I, I kind of didn't pay attention that they all had different names, <laughs> and it was red, yellow, and blue. Um, mm-hmm. So I do, I do like that. It's a good pick. It's just, you know, it's a simple. It's a simpler piece, but you know there's a lot going on, and I it fits, it fits for you, Isaac. Good choice. Thanks. All right, simple Taylor. and good looking. <laughs> sorry, it's right, our big strong boy. Not, <laughs> not wrong, not wrong. <laughs> um, I think also, Colin, you only get one pick at the end here. Is that correct? No, I get two again. <laughs> Okay, you only get one. Okay, just making sure. Okay, it's a snake. I, I can't believe you guys. I can't believe you guys let this fall this late. Oh, Fifth round, fourteenth pick. Yeah, you do. Wander with purpose. Boom. <laughs> the best card in the whole set. I got it in the fifth round. I gamed <laughs> the system. It's so good. Okay, a. The story is amazing like here's benji looks a little different than last time we saw him he's learned some stuff as he's been wandering b there's a dog (laughs) great dog (laughs) right just hanging out wanting some freaking sweet noodles or freaking meat on a stick 
that's mm. being served at that stand, and he's looking freaking cute, and mm. he freaking deserves it. Also, I love it that it's in a city. We hardly get any sort of city vibes, you know? Uh, there's towering buildings, and it's got, like, a dramatic rain scene going on also. It's just a freaking great card, and it's it's the best one. In the fifth round, 14th pick. This would have been a heat draft on for the card. me. Yeah, I knew you loved it and knew you would pick you it. I should have hit drafted it to throw you off, but you should have. You know, it's okay. Um, I have I have extensive notes here. If you had picked it, where I was so going to pivot to, so that's okay. You would have grabbed my quiver or something. You know, it would have just yes, I would have. De- yeah, de- devolved into a yeah a heat draft spiral. Yeah, yeah. and you but, lost out on this huge value. The dog, the one of the great dogs in the game of flesh and blood, is here on this card, and you all missed it. And you should be ashamed of yourselves <laughs> as dog owners. You're right, though. We, I mean, you know, this is Benji's journey happening on this card, and it's so intriguing. I mean, you're, it, you're absolutely it totally right. is. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal card. Yeah, it's good. I. I, I was just going to let you have it because I know you love it so much. So, you know, um, I'm Carlos Kurchaga also. Yeah. Also Carlos Kurchaga. Yeah. <laughs> Son uh, of a bitch. Rare dog Sign card. Up, rare, uh, Mysteria city vibes. It's, it's got like Blade Runner vibes to me just cause it, you know, I mean, Ex- exactly. You know, that's highly influenced exactly. by like, you know, totally all that and it evokes Blade Runner. Dude. Awesome. All right, we yes. fucked up. We fucked up. Let's cancel this. We'll start <laughs> over. I go first. <laughs> Boom! That's me dunking on you. Yeah, I see. I see you dunking on me. It's just you know, I just don't have the legs for it. So, um, <laughs> what am I gonna do? That's all right. You're an outside shooter. You know, that's what you're here for. It's I'm just freaking just... run off screens, catch and shoot it, baby. I'm also We're not that, gonna... but that's okay. <laughs> No, we're just going to step under you while you're dunking over us, you know? Take out those legs. Maybe we'll land on your elbow. All right. Gotcha. Fine. Final pick of the draft. It's all it's all down to me. And I'm in another I'm in another tight spot, guys. I'm not <laughs> second guessing myself, but I'm you're not going to do card it. position. I'm not going to do it. Uh Don't want to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Katsu Young's art, the young art for Katsu is what I want. He just looks yeah. like a nice friend. tried and true. Uh, last pick. Here we go. Silverwind Shuriken. Ooh, Ooh very nice. good. I didn't I look at this one. It. I think it's considered just it. like the same kind of thing where the piece of equipment or the item is like really defined in the foreground, but then it's got this really interesting uh, background. Uh, it's just, oh, I guess there's even multiple shurikens. I just noticed yeah, that. Yeah, totally. Um, Pretty the, good. The movement of it, the guy throwing it, you know, shout out to Sam Yang, uh, you know, artist, in-house artist develop, you know, for LSS. Uh, just doesn't do a ton of art, but I feel like he just nails it when he does. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, this one's really cool. I was torn. There's a couple other cards I was considering. Um, but I think, you know, looking at this one, I should probably get a cold foil of it cause those look really cool, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if the item's any good, but it looks dope. So <laughs> we're, we're ending it out with a ninja card of all things, uh, silver wind shuriken as my number Hell five yeah. pick in our snake draft. <laughs> snake draft. Isaac, will you great run detail. through great, great job there, Colin. I feel like Colin won, truthfully. I think he crushed it. But Isaac, you want to run through your one through five picks, and then I'll do mine and Colin's, and then we'll get out of here. Yep. Ma- number one, Mask of Many Faces. Number two, Wayfinder's Crest. Number three, Plague Hive. Mm. Number four, Quiver of Rustling Leaves. Number five, Fletch, a red, yellow, or blue tail. Well Pretty done. good. My picks. Number one, Van Braces of Determination. Number two, Scale Peeler. Number three, Mask of Malicious 
manifestations. Number four, lace with blood rot. And with the fifth pick, the the windmill winner of this draft, wander with purpose. Nice. Nice. All right. For me, number one, I just wrote down treasure chest. It's the trench of sunken treasure. We should call it by the real name, but treasure chest is the right name. We should all use that. I came up with it. You're welcome. Uh, Marvel Codex of Blood Rot. Yeah. The only Marvel picked. I guess that means I get all of them. Uh, three, Amnesia. Four, Give and Take. And five, Silver Wind Shuriken. That is, uh, that's it. 2023 Outsiders Art Draft. Um, we will be letting all the artists know how we feel about them personally. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, I just remembered we're going to get Carlos Cruchaga on the podcast. That's, uh, that's our next goal. I Hell feel like yeah. we all won. Those I think we did. Great. Yeah. Yeah. It was right, fun. Gonna... I, I enjoyed that. I want to shout out Death Touch. I was sure that one of you would pick it. But I was sure if, one of you would pick it. If you look at the full art of this card, it's outsiders in a painting. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it reminds me of like Exude Confidence or one of those cards. You know, it's just like mm -hmm. this madman strolling through, <laughs> sowing his mayhem. It's beautiful. It's so cool. Another one I w for sure <laughs> thought somebody would pick was Wreck Havoc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought about both of them. I feel like Wreck Havoc is like it's got a lot of stuff going for it, but it also, I don't know, they both feel like a little too on the nose, too extra. Uh, and I was, I was just trying to consider the, the ones where like I'm, I'm looking at the art and then I keep going back to look at it. You know, mm -hmm. while those ones like, they they're good. You know, there's nothing wrong with them. They're real good. Yeah, they would have been solid picks for sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I wanted to grab Collapsing Trap too because that's like the mm. epic battle finale. Yeah. You know, that has a lot going on. But, you know, the, the snake has spoken. <laughs> yeah. I think one we did miss was the regular Codex of Blood Rot. Like, mm. that one's pretty good. You know? Yeah, that I mean, one is pretty skin. good. There's an ear. It looks like they just put it together, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, got it's a fresh. nose on it. Yeah, it's pretty great. Recently <laughs> published. <laughs> yeah, it's a recently <laughs> published <laughs> codex. <laughs> uh, uh, I did... Uh, and none of us picked... Go ahead, Colin. Sorry. Oh, no. I was going to say, one of, one of like my deep, deep cuts um, I, was, I had on here, which Ooh. I kind of threw on at the last second, was Isolate. Um, just because mm. this one had that kind of storytelling where it's just a dude like in a warehouse, but I don't know, there's like looming shadow. Um, it's fucked. Yeah. It's He's like, fucked. it's yeah. like, it's pretty scary and like cool that, you know, even though it's, it's kind of a simple, uh, illustration, it, it evokes this kind of like dread. Um, that's pretty, pretty mm. good, especially for the, the card, uh, ability as well. Colin, I also looked at and considered that card for all yep. those reasons. Yeah. Nice. I think yeah. the last maybe two that maybe we could have gone with was uh, Quiver of the Abyssal Depths. Mm -hmm. That one is very good, and I'm surprised it didn't happen. But then personally for me, my like deep cut that just – I the way you guys were drafting, I couldn't pick it, you know. Uh, is young Riptide mm. definitely the best character art I think in the set? Is both maybe Riptide, old Riptide, and young Riptide are both really good, but just young Riptide is just a guy has a whole vibe going on <laughs> that's like way different than anything else in this game. Yeah. yeah you know? Totally. Yeah. I, I considered that one. I, I was it. like, if I was going to pick a hero, it would have been his young art for sure. Yeah. And who carries fish on? A, I mean, maybe uh, that's like a thing in other cultures or whatever, but I just love it that he's got a piece of wood strapped to his back with a bunch of fish. It's his fish backpack, bro. <laughs> 
Yeah, the flavor, oh, the flavor of Riptide is over the top. They did such a good job. Yeah, makes me want to play Riptide. You know, I did kind of like. I do like Toxicity also. That's mm-hmm. the last one I'll mention. But it's just like if you look closely, there's multiple of this character in the background, and it looks like they all just walked in with their gas masks, and now they're crushing oh. these vials or canisters or whatever, and just like nuking the room and i never noticed that yeah it's like kind of darth vader-esque i don't know they're just like it's really dark like they're not messing around i don't know how much we cuss on the show but you know (laughs) we we curse all the time they're uh (laughs) they're getting shit done and people are dying toxically yeah (laughs) I don't know. It's it's just it's fun. It's a fun card. <laughs> also, shout out to Post Malone posing for Violent Touch. <laughs> totally, uh, super agreed. I can't believe that didn't come up. That that totally was fun. But yeah, shout Rock out to star. Posty. It, it's yeah. hard, you know. There's there's there is some really good art. I think uh, you know, despite what we started off saying, but I think uh, when you got to when you got to choose and other people are picking some interesting stuff, it really makes you reconsider. So, but that was fun. Well, there's, yeah. 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 yeah I don't want to go into the critiques. Let's, let's end on a high note. That was a yeah. great exercise. I hope everybody at home enjoyed that. Again, let us know on the variety of social media platforms and ways you have to get in touch with us. Twitter, the discord, YouTube comments, email, phone call if you have my number Collins or Isaacs etc and uh, let us know what you think who won this draft yeah hell yeah I think it's pretty close let me know I won (laughs) tweet at me Uh, (laughs) you guys did great Uh, thanks for your job you too I guess that's it for now yeah see you in the next episode goodbye good night everyone bye